all right so what is going on today youtube as you can see this is the deck i'm going to be playing today um it is not the most fancy deck like i said it's just something i threw together but that's not what we're here to really much worry about what we're going to talk about today is the bandits because it did come out after eight months we finally been waiting and finally we did get a bandits and oh boy is it the worst it, it's it's possibly the worst i'm not going to say it's the worst because i know there's been you know worse than that but I'm going to say it, it, it's easily in my top five of the worst ban list I've, I've ever seen. It's, it's so infuriating. So if, if you guys have not seen the ban list, um, I don't really don't know what you're doing. Just definitely just go do a quick search because um, uh, I, I'm going to talk about some cards. So you're probably going to get the gist, but I'm probably going to be missing like one or two cards. So if you guys do want to see the full ban list, definitely go check that out. Um, and like always, before a video starts, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this content, leave a like. Leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already. I upload minimum of three videos a week, so you guys definitely have something to look forward to. And if you guys can, click an ad. That would be very helpful. So, um, yeah. So, pretty much, uh, this ban list was very terrible. And why why is it terrible, you, you may say. Um, it, it literally, if you look at the list, it, it the list itself is not bad. If the list was, I guess... I, I would say if this was like a three month list, it would be cool. But the fact that the last list we got was eight months ago, and in eight months' time, they'd hit no card. The only card that they hit that was relevant was Karen and Maxi, but Maxi's already been hit. So, I mean, Karen's already been hit. So, yeah, Maxi and Karen, if Vane's infamous, I mean, that's just been a card. So, I'm not really going to talk about that. But, Karen and Maxi is probably is the only two cards that really got hit. So it's like, I mean, in the last eight months, that's got hit. Besides that, Rapture went to two, Wisdom My Magician went to two, and Sagan went to three, Slumber went to two, and um, there's a lot of cards that got a rattle that came off to one. And then the only thing that's banned is Emptiness, Karen, and Tyrant Neptune. Which is, it, I'm just trying to, like, in eight months, that's what they came up. Now, Konami did do this last time. When everybody started making videos about when we're going to get the ban list, when we're going to get the ban list, when we're going to get the ban list, Konami said, okay, well, we're going to give you a ban list, and they pooped out a shitty-ass list. And that's pretty much what they did here, because this was, you can clearly tell by the, um, by, by, by the hits, and by the lack, I guess, of hits, and then, like, just not releasing shit, because of Link Summoning coming out, like, why not just... Give us shit back. Construct. Stratos. I mean, I, I love Stratos. I miss Stratos. Just just bring Stratos back. Like, wh who is it going to hurt? You already got Link Summoning, I guess, changing the game. But that, 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 that itself, I'm going to talk about also. It's just, it's just horrible, too. But, like, just, just in eight months, and they literally didn't hit anything of real re re relevance. Like, yeah, you hit Raptor. Okay. But, like I said, I never had a problem with Raptor. And maybe it's because of me, because of how, how I feel about the meta or how certain cards in the meta or certain decks in the meta. Um, maybe, maybe I'm just looking at this like, okay, well, I don't, I mean, I, I it, the hits didn't really just do anything for me. That's just how it is. It just, none of this did anything for me because it was just so bad. Because in eight months time, you only hit, what, Rapture, Maxi, Slumber, Kieran, um, Slumber, Kieran, Fucking Tyrant Neptune was it wasn't even our meta, emptiness, and that's it. That's the only thing they hit. Those are what? Let me let me name them off again because I don't know if I've overcounted. Slumber, um, Rapture. This is, I'm talking about meta meta relevant cards. Slumber, Rapture, Maxi, Kieran, and emptiness. Five fucking cards in eight months. That's what they're saying. Everything else was fucking fine for eight months. Only those five cards are relevant. In one of those cards, wrapped here, wasn't even along for a month, and you already hit it. Why? That's that's just a piss poor, piss poor fucking job of Konami. And I don't know if they're watching this video or not. Pretty sure they're not. But it's just a fucking piss poor excuse for a ban list. Like where where do you get like what like how what what made you do this? You didn't hit Paleos. You could have put Tree Toad to one. You could have fucking, uh, what else? Infernoids are a problem. Put left arm offering the, you know, one or some shit like that. 
you know, limits, and you know, in front of us really aren't a problem, I would say. Uh, left arm offering. Okay, limit that. Teratop is still that fucking three. Why? Why is Teratop at three? Why is Love Eater even still a card? Like, you know what I mean? Like, Bahama Shark is still at three. Like, all this shit that didn't get touched for no apparent reason. They're just... This is one of them, okay, well, you asked for it. Here you go. I hope you're happy. That's pretty much what it is. It's like you calling your dad for eight months and him telling you every single time you call him, all right, we're going to, you know, I'm going to come, I'm going to show up. And then when he gets there, he throws shit in your face. That's pretty much what this fucking list was. That's what Konami just did. We asked him for this shit last five months, last four months, possibly. And you give us shit to our face and just expect us to just like it like yeah this is just this is this this is what it is now this is just a multiple like i'm already halfway out the door this probably is going to put me fully out the door like i said i don't agree with link summoning or the link mechanic not not don't agree with, i just don't like it just doesn't for it just doesn't do anything for me to be honest with you it's like it's not necessary because jeff jones already fucking went like he literally in one turn off of two cards went through fucking 15 extra deck monsters i don't think you guys understand what i just said what deck off of two cards alone can do that and like it's not like you're drawing into different cards it's just you just need those two in quasar decks you draw into more shit if you can't draw good that's it the combo stops with this deck you just need two fucking cards and that's it. What is Link what, what now tell me in, in anybody can anybody let me know what is Link's like he already came up with that and it, like the cards are not even official. Like it's it's not even a there's there haven't been an official release date. Every everything got leaked. It hasn't been official. Like he came up with that and he spammed fifteen he spammed through fifteen. What deck does that? Zodiac's can't do that and they they're one card exceeds like you li like i don't th I, I like I, I, now that i'm thinking about it because i just said it i haven't really thought about it like that but yeah I, this motherfucker went through 15 extra deck cards off of two fucking cards how is that not a problem and now it's come out that you can fucking steal your opponent's extra deck extra deck slot and they can't fucking use it are you serious? How in the fuck is Link Summoning good for the game? Just please, I understand, you know, you may want to reset. Some people want to reset the game. That's that's cool. If that's your vote. Roll that motherfucker. But what I'm saying is, who does this at? Like, where, 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 how is this good? I want to, I want the same people. The only person I've really seen vigorously defending Link Summoning is Team Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh! I really want to hear his thoughts on this. I think he, he probably put up a video. I probably should go check it out. I, I haven't I haven't really been watching too much of uh what's the name? I, I haven't really watched any. The only thing I watched was the bandless stuff. I haven't really watched anything. Only the person I watched about the link summoning was John Moore, and I think that he was the only person to really come out with some. Any everybody else like Mco Forty and shit. I didn't I didn't watch. Or House of Champions. If you guys don't know his name, but like where where is uh <laughs> like what? Like, also, what you're telling me is, without using a fancy combo, not of, you know, one out of every 60 duels, you're going to get this card. Or you're going to get Ojama King and then the other Ojama. Oh, you get to lock your opponent out. Okay. Motherfucker. This motherfucker did it. Like, like, it's just two cards. And then the rest of your extra deck, you can, I mean, not, not, not two cards, but not, I don't know what's on. No. You can lock your opponent out by just doing shit that you're supposed to do with the game. Not no, you came up with a fucking, oh, a good ass combo. Not, oh, you've been in the lab 24 hours, 60 hours, 17 days, five weeks or five months. You've been thinking, running numbers, doing all this shit. And you came up with a, oh, a perfect little, you know, perfect little deck that just runs around and destroys your opponent. No, it's literally, you can lock your opponent out by just playing regular Yu-Gi-Oh. Like doing what you're supposed to do. You can lock your opponent out. And how the fuck is that cool where 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 did where the fuck does that even come across is a good fucking thing to be now i don't really want to continue to uh i guess complain not it's not really complain i'm just really you know airing my thoughts because 
this is one of like one of the few videos I'm going to do on Link Summoning past this. Now, like I said, I, I have not tested it. I have not, you know, only thing I'm doing is pure off of speculation of my brain. Um, it can be fun to play. Yu-Gi-Oh! has always been fun to play. Link Summoning can be also fun to play. But it's just with like when I when I everything that's coming out, the rules that's coming out for it, it's like what the like what the like what did you think what like why how did you think this through? like who in fucking konami sat there and said this is this this is going to be very fun you can like that that's just so much bullshit that you can lock your opponent out like i understand that there's decks that cater towards spamming the board but at least you got to have certain combo pieces you got to do a whole bunch of shit with link summoning i'm pretty sure somebody if it's not Jeff Jones, it's going to be somebody who's going to come up with a play to pretty much lock your opponent out on the first turn, and they can't special summon shit from their extra deck. Then you got an Eternia Beast. Now, yes, Kaiju can't get over it, but then they get all that other shit just does extra shit. I don't know what they all do, but I know some of them add back to the hand, and then well, if it dies or some shit or sent to the graveyard, if a Link Monster is sent to the graveyard, I think it's called Fire Blaze Dragon or something, you can special summon from your hand. And mind you, he did all he did all those plays off of two cards, and I'm pretty sure if he could, if he did his links a different way, he could he could lock your opponent out. I mean, I guarantee you he can do that. I guarantee fucking to you, and still go to Terry Beast, and still win. Like that's just bullshit if I've ever seen one. The fact that you can use tokens is stupid. This, I I, I just don't know, man. Like I said. Everybody who's been defending Link Summoning, the more and more, like, I, I've, I've been on the video. Like, I went to a House of Chance video, and I've seen a lot of people saying, you know what, Link Summoning is starting to become stupid. You know what, Link Summoning is pretty stupid. This is stupid. This is dumb. Shit like that. I'm starting to see more and more of that. And it's like, you know what, I, I'm glad people are realizing, like, this. To, to, I, I'm not really glad, because it's not really, it's not really fun to know that, like, the game you love to play or enjoy playing is good going down a fucking very scary dark path that's probably going to end it now i know it's always been said no don't dislike now it's hear me out it's always been said that oh this is going to end something this is going to do this this is going to do that but i really feel like this has the potential to drive players out to like literally just stop because i'm already like i said halfway out the door this band list the, the band list on top of this fucking new link summoning shit is really you know I, I i don't know how long i could really stay in the door because like i said i do very much enjoy this game i, I it's very it's, it's entirely too fast there's i'm not disagreeing with anybody saying this game is literally too fast but you what you know what konami can do or nas or whoever fuck makes these cars or whoever comes up with this shit you can literally there, there's a reason why bandless was invented is to slow shit down to get rid of problem shit you can easily do that just sit down there for a, 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 just you don't even it's so sad because they have so many resources at uh, you know they have so many resources they can easily ask all the top players i mean i don't know how, arg tried to do that and then everybody got backlash because they was like oh they're trying to change the market but you literally just you know just get a few top players like billy break shit like that people who you know who, who are uh, as I mean to the public aren't known as you know scumbags and it's gonna do you it's gonna fuck up a list or purposely do you know harmful shit like that now everybody's you know they can it's, it's possible for them to do that but I wouldn't suspect them of doing that so like this get a group of people like what they should do is just get a group of people who's actually playing the game and say all right but these are the problems this is this shit needs to get this shit needs to get hit and then you review it and if you if it's if it's if it's obviously, you know, bullshit, you, you know, then do that. But then if you know if it's, you know, okay, well, I think the players will like this, go for it. And then what you can do also is just have a voting thing. Like you vote on the damn Shonen, Shonen Jump, have a vote. What card do you want to see come off the list? Something like that every year. So and now it now not only it engages your audience. It, you know, it gives people that sense of, okay, well, I can change something about the game. Let me put my vote in for Construct to come back. Let me put my vote in for Black Luster Soldier. Just something fun. Yes, you can have, you can have, you know, everybody or a group of people say, fuck it, we're going to troll. We're going to pick the, you know, the best card on here. Let's put Pot Agree back to one. But that's just the fun of the game. It's the players and all that. So, man, I think you have so much shit you can do. But... 
they're just I, I don't know like I said I just this link something the more and more stuff comes out it's like okay well yeah this this is not gonna work this is just bad this is just a bad thing to do they shouldn't do it but hey I'm not Konami NAS or whoever owns this shit or whoever produces these cards I'm not them I'm just you know airing my thoughts out and I know this is a particularly long video but like I said I'm not really going to be doing too many more of these as of right now I would say because um, it's it's like it's tiring now. It's like I'm not even I'm not even passionate about it no more because the more and more shit I just get more and more like man like why why it's it's sad to see it's sad to see a, you know a, 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 a basically something that you love to fucking play just go down a path which it, it just looks horrible. That's just like you you see the motherfucker that you're trying to you know you you see a motherfucker that you don't talk to and you see him just. You, you see him going down that goddamn dark alley and you want him to stop, but he's not going to listen. They're going to keep going down that dark alley until something fucking bad happens. And I feel like that's Link Summoning. is that damn dark alley that they're going to go down and then that's going to be it. Um, so, yeah, you guys let me know how you feel. Um, this this duel, I, mean, I was really upset because I, 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 I told myself I should burial and get a zombie on board so I can fucking use that to not take damage. But I figured... You know, I'm not going to be killed, but like I said, this this is a good reason why um, Link Summoning is good. But then again, it's like, uh, like this this is probably, not everybody's going to be playing this deck. And, you know, there's there's different measures and stuff like that. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's just, uh, everything this week has just been, it's just been very bad. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys can, you know, let, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like the ban list, what, what you didn't like about the ban list. What you, do you like the new Link Summoning rules? Do you like new Link Summoning? Let me know your thoughts because right now, man, it's just, it's just looking very, very bleak for me to continue playing this game after Link Summoning come out. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the background and stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.